Capturing memories of our beloved furry and sometimes not so furry friends can be a tricky business. In this video, we're going to give you 10 useful little tips and tricks to help you gain the photographic willingness of your trusty pal. Most animal photographers will tell you that winning your subject over usually helps to get better photos. But this can't happen immediately. Take your time, set up your shot, make sure you've got the right composition and wait for your animal friends to come to you. They usually do. You may also wish to coo them with a little praise or simply just talk to them. And trust us, it'll be worth the wait. If you've got a camera that allows you to change your aperture setting, then pop that F number down to the lowest it will go. If your camera doesn't do this, don't worry. You can obtain a similar effect by getting a little closer, either with the help from your zoom or your feet, whichever is comfortable for you. They say eyes are the window to the soul, so what's a pet portrait without sharp eyes? If your camera lets you change the focus point, it's a good idea to move it over the eye you want sharpest, usually the one that's in the light. If not, don't worry, just make sure you're nice and close to your pet so the camera knows what it's meant to focus on. If you've got a particularly energetic animal, then allowing your camera to continuously focus on them whilst they're moving will likely result in a sharper image. Not all cameras support this, but if yours does, then you just need to change your focusing mode to AFC, servo or continuous. Changing your composition like this not only creates a different viewpoint, but also becomes more endearing to your potential subject. Animals tend to trust you more when you're on their level. Our lovely animal friends don't always find us that interesting until we have food. Try and attract your subject's attention by putting a treat near the top of the camera. This will engage them and make them look up to see what you've got. You may also use this technique to distract your subject from what you're doing. Be prepared for them to figure you out though. If food isn't working anymore, then why not try a toy or an object or something that the animal finds interesting? Light is the most important factor of any photograph and using it correctly can hugely help in securing better images. So when taking your pet's portrait, make sure they're facing all, if not part, of the light. This gives a lovely catch light in the eye and gives a truly dynamic image. Trying all these things at once can be tricky. Results may not happen instantaneously. Just remember, keep shooting. The more you do it, the more likely you are to get good results. And you'll know what your pet responds to best. Once you've got the shot you wanted, let your pet have a little rest. Once you've put the graft in and got the photograph you really wanted, show it some love with a little touch up. You don't have to change it entirely, but warming up the colors and bringing up the shadows on a black pet never hurts. The same can be said for white pets. Just darken the highlights and maybe cool down the colors instead. You may also wish to choose a crop that can be used to print your images at the right ratio. You've got the pick, now it's time to display it. We hope you find these tips useful. And if you have, remember to like, subscribe and hit that bell icon to stay up to date with all our latest releases.